Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. In this video, we are going to work uh, with put and delete. So they are pretty straightforward. Uh, we are going to use REST template for it as well. And when using REST template, we have a couple options. First option for put, just put. That's it. And you won't uh, have any return. As you can see here, it's void. Uh, I personally don't like to use that one because uh, I like to get a response. So for put, I'm going to use exchange. Basically, the put will be uh, almost the same as this one. So what's the difference here? First, the method is put. And then, as you can see, we still have uh, the attributes, but now we cannot send the Steins gate. We need to send Steins gate saved because we need an ID. And uh, we can change something here. So, for example, signs gate saved dot set name. Let's use the SQL zero. And the same thing, you can have a header, especially if you have authentication. But here is the key part. We can just tell that this is not going to return anything. And then again, we don't have the body because this will return no content. And now we just introduce a local variable and then we say updated Steins gate. Now, when we log this, we can log the response. get status code so let's uh, I'm going to do the delete as well basically the delete it's the same thing I'm going to copy these two and again the delete you could have the delete but uh, it returns uh, void as well so uh, same pattern I would like to have something deleted so, same thing, now the URL changed a little bit because we have to send an ID for the, the delete. So if you don't remember, just check the controller. So for the delete, an ID. And for the update, we just have an entire object. So let's uh, check here. The method now is delete, otherwise we will get 405. And then we are going to send this uh, well, I think uh, we don't need to send these guys. We have this request entity. Well, we can try to send this null because uh, we don't need uh, an object there. The uh, There are a couple of things. Return void. There is no content, but we have to send here the ID. So as you can see, the last step is uh, URI variables. And we can send here uh, updated gates.get Oh, sorry, not this one. It's uh, Steins gate saved. Dot get ID. Let's uh, rename this one. Exchange updated, and this one. Exchange deleted. There you go. Avoid confusion. And deleted status. Is this one? This is my sonar complaining that I have the same URL several times. We can ignore that. Uh, we start the application if it's not running. I deleted everything in my database. Clean one. And now I am going to run my application. There we go. So as you can see here, but it was saved. Number four. Uh, then we have HTTP put, as we can see here, the response was 204, no content. And then we have here um, the status of the updated, and we delete passing 4, and again we have 204, no content. So we don't have to send a uh, request entity because we are not sending any anybody inside the, the request. Also, we don't have to send any authorization header. And then we have everything deleted. 
if uh, we check the database we should have an empty there you go no data at all there so this is uh, everything that I wanted to talk about related to the rest template I'm not going to talk about the patch because the patch is not like uh, a spring related feature is like a Java thing because what's the difference between the put and the the patch the put you can you have to replace the entire object so let's say that you have uh, anime and uh, imagine that you have name and you have like a release date so let's say that you are executing a request and you don't send the release date because you don't want to update that you send like null what's going to happen the put will update the object and it will set the release date to null why because that's the behavior of the the put request it will replace the entire object with what you are sending but patch is different so let's say that you have the same thing and you are sending a new name but you don't want to change the release date you just have to send no in this case your code should take care of uh, updating the name and not updating the release date because it was not uh, it, it was it is not in the request so this is uh, everything that I wanted to talk about the rest template and uh, we can move on so I see you in the next video bye